There are a lot of live bearers right now currently in the fish cave, mostly guppies. But my favorite right now are probably these, which are the Cuban live bearer. Welcome to the fish cave. Hit that like button. And if you want to join a 25,000 strong special giveaway coming soon, I can't believe we hit that milestone. Big thank you to you guys. Hit that subscribe button. For a daily dose of the fish cave, check out Wild Fish Tanks on Instagram. And for all you boomers out there, we just started a Facebook page. So these little guys are a live bearer from Cuba. Now the uh, scientific name is like GR Dennis Meticulatus or what have you. Um, but they're also commonly known as like the black chin live bearer. And you'll notice that uh, there's a big plump female right there. And there's a male in the background with the yellow kind of belly. These are what they're called a yellow belly variety. The most common one or the more common one, I believe have a black chin. And then these guys will have a yellow belly, at least the males will. And they are a live bearer, just like kind of like in that guppy family. So they have a gonopodium or a fish penis. So you'll see the males kind of floating it around and sticking it out. And the females will get, as you can see, a little bigger, a little more plump than the, uh, the males as well. If you kept this fish before, let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious to know about the genetics in terms of the, the black and yellow. Uh, one of the benefits of having bad lighting in your tanks normally is you really normally can't tell how scratched up your tanks are. Um, if you guys have been following the channel for a long time, you'll know that um, I usually do everything budget. All these tanks in the rack system here are uh, or secondhand tanks. I didn't, I didn't buy any of them new. I think maybe two or three of those 10 gallons were new. And all these 20 gallons were, were old. I got them cheap. Um, but and I usually only run one light. But since I'm doing this video, I got doubled. I doubled up the lights. I stole the, stole the light from the, the endlers below. So they're in the dark right now. But uh, one, of the, one of the benefits of having no light usually is you normally can't tell that the tank is just scratched up. But I digress. Back to the fish. Um, they're here in the species only for the most part. There is an assassin snail. So there's a few assassin snails in here. And you'll also see, um, there's a female bristlenose. I'm not breeding them in here, but there's a female bristlenose in that cave uh, just to kind of take care of algae, be a bottom cleaner. Um, and these guys don't mess with her and the, the, the pleco doesn't mess with them. These are a decent community fish. Um, as you can see, they're fairly prolific. Big shout out to Jose aka Wakaiva Aquatics. You can follow him on Instagram. Um, definitely check him out on Instagram. I bought these from him a couple months back. I bought, I forget how many it was, a breeding colony and um, the females started, started popping them up. So these guys are actually available now on wildfishtanks.com. I sell the unsexed juveniles. Um, you can see these guys are uh, almost ready to, to to go to new homes now. Uh, there should be some available on the website. But these guys, um, really cool fish, peaceful. As you can see, there's tons and tons of fry growing out, loving this this algae kind of moss. I was told this is the same moss as the, uh, that's kind of, that grows in like a moss ball. But I, uh, I kind of got some and I spread it out over this piece of wood that you can't even see anymore. But there's a big piece of wood that, that's all on a piece of wood going back, back, back there. And you can see it's on these uh, rocks now as well. But the fry love it. They just go through here and, and pick through it. Um, I also feed these guys a lot of flake food. Um, some baby brine shrimp, but I don't, I don't hatch out uh, live baby brine. I'm sure they would eat it up, but it's not, it's not necessary. Um, these guys are super, super lively. I mean, they're always scurrying back and forth. Um, if you look, they kind of have a cool looking blue eye. I'm not sure how, how well it comes up on camera but they got a cool blue eye. We can see it in some of the babies. Um, yeah, it's really cool. The, one of the tanks that I've found myself just sitting out here and watching uh, a lot lately, just because of how active it is. It's, they're like guppies, but even more active. And like I said, the males with their yellow bellies are just uh, pretty sweet. And the females, even though they don't get a yellow belly, they get kind of a, a, a pattern to them. I don't know how to explain it, but they get some black in their dorsal fin and they also get um, some kind of, some stripes, some stripes and, and some patterning to them. Especially as they start getting, um, you know, a little, little larger and ready to breed like those two right there. Kept these fish down for, like I said, a handful of months. Really, really grown on me. 
Um, didn't really know much about them, but uh, excited that I now, you know, have a colony and I'm able to share them with others. Some males, like, like I know one or two males that Jose has, they'll actually get the black chin as well as the yellow belly. So I think the dominant males, I haven't seen it yet. I'm not sure if it's something you can breed for or if it's something that dominant males will get, but having that black chin kind of in the front and then the yellow belly near the back of the, the fish for kind of a really stunning black and yellow um, kind of contrast on, the, on the, the bottom side of the male fish. As you can see, a fish like this, I mean, they're just putting on a show. I haven't fed them. You know, I didn't just feed them or anything. Like I fed them a few hours ago. So they're, they're not like super hungry and they're not like, you know, just fed. This is just them normally. Really rewarding fish. Super, super easy to care for. Just, you know, standard tropical temperatures. They do well in the 70s and they eat, you know, like I said, standard flake foods. They love a planted tank. Definitely love a planted tank. They love some room to roam. You definitely want to make sure you don't have too many males. Just like other live bearers, as you can see, the males will harass the females. So you wanna make sure that you have a, a decent ratio. You don't wanna to have too many males to females. And even if you have just a few males, give plenty of space. So that way um, the females can dart off and hide behind these rocks in the plants, you know, etc. And a big shout out to a subscriber of the channel, Kevin who hooked us up with some Christmas moss. I've got some on the website and I've been trying to give some away with some orders. Um, so big shout out to Kevin for that. I've been trying to, you know, pass along the, the good deed um, that he did. It's been a while since we've done one of these tank by tank series, but this tank actually used to house the, uh, the dwarf neon rainbow fish, which are now over here in, um, in this tank, which has kind of become a catch all and it's got some algae on it now, but it's got the dwarf neon rainbow fish and swordfish and a bunch of bunch of corridors as well. We're gonna continue the series and go through some more tanks. Most of these 10 gallons are gonna be broken down. Um, I have a bunch of 20 gallon longs over here that I'm gonna be setting up and making a new rack system. But there are a few tanks over here that we switched up a bunch um, and we're gonna be doing tank by tank series on. So definitely stay tuned for those. If you guys wanna check out some of the other tank by tank series, you can do so by clicking there. Other fish tank antics videos right there. I appreciate you guys watching to the end. As always, stay positive and stay passionate.